Hi there, I'm Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to show you Spitfire Studio Brass. This library contains all of the essential brass instruments you need for your brass productions, recorded in the dry acoustic of Air Studio One by Grammy Award winning engineer Simon Rhodes. Let's dive straight in. So you'll hear that it's a fairly dry sound. It's a still a live space, but it's a scoring stage as opposed to a kind of epic hall type sound. We do have controls. This is the Easy Mix page, but we do have controls to add um, an IR reverb to this sound. So if you want to get that larger space in there, you can very easily do that by simply going from close to far. And if we switch views, you'll see slightly more detailed controls in the spanner pane as well. Let's listen to some of the other sounds. So you can get this incredibly beautiful choral sound from the horns as well. Um, but also the long notes go up to what we called in our session planner, the lip bleed sessions, where we spent an entire day just capturing the very, very strongest, most powerful sounds. We've also captured this stopped sound in the horns where the hand is placed inside the bell to give you a, that kind of muted texture. and many other great articulations, including things like flutter tongue, and a full variety of different short notes from the very shortest, again, a very wide dynamic variety of sound in there, uh, our medium length short notes, and our very longest marcatos. Let's listen to some of the other instrument groups. The patches that I'm loading at the moment are curated to have just the um, things that you're most likely to use most often. We'll go slightly deeper in a moment. I'll show you some of the other sounds that are in the library as well. So again, a huge variety across the dynamics. Here we have the normal long notes. The muted sound. And again, three different lengths of short notes. So you're familiar now with the sound of the room. Let's get the trombones up. I'm going to put a little bit of reverb on and I'm going to play some nice, soft, delicate choral type of stuff with the trombones. And this also goes up to absolute full tilt. If I push the dynamic controller all the way to the top. The muted sound. And our short notes, three different lengths as usual. And all of these obviously have the full dynamic as well, even down to the marcatos, simply by playing softer. Let's hear the bass trombones. We'll go back to a dry sound, just the sound of the room. It's 
If we stack the tenor trombones and the bass trombones, you get a really great fat sound. Let's check out the tuba. And with that legato patch, you can really hear the beautiful sound of the transitions between the notes as the instrument changes register. So the tuba has a really interesting muted sound, which doesn't have quite the kind of fatness of the full sound, but it still has a lot of the bass frequencies in there. If we load up the sforzando, which is a really kind of punchy start to the notes and then very quickly becoming very quiet, put a bit of reverb on to allow the sound to bloom. And let's take that off again, just to check out the short notes. The alternative to the bass end is the chimbasso. This is quite an aggressive instrument, um, but it can sound quite sweet as well. It's a trombone with valves, and that sounds like this. Cuivre um, simply means very, very brassy, so it's played in a certain way to accentuate that rattle. Here are the normal long notes, and we can get really nice and soft with these. but they also have that great rumble at the bottom. Let's take the reverb off again, and you can check out these short notes. And we've got these great rips and falls. So let's check out our melodic solo instruments, which are the trumpet and the horn. First up, the trumpet. So again, you've got great dynamic control there. Um, you can really hear all of those amazing sounds, the sounds of the transitions between the notes that you're playing. If you just hold down the first note while you play the second note, it triggers this. And this is a really uh, great way to add extra realism into your tracks. Let's go to the polyphonic sound. So you can hear they, it's a different sound from using the two trumpets polyphonically and playing chords. It does give you a slightly clearer sound, um, but again, it's great wide dynamic range. Here's the muted. Flutter tongue. And the short notes. The final trumpet control is the vibrato control, and you can use this to get a really musical performance um, in conjunction with the dynamic controller as well, like this. But you can also use this on, on the other patches like the muted patch. And it just gives you that extra dimension of musicality. Unusually, the horn solo also has this control.
Not commonly played vibrato, but it does sound rather sweet. In the advanced folder, you'll find a folder called Extended Techniques, and this is where you can see beyond the initial patches that you load up to some extra material that we've recorded. And I'll show you on just two of the instruments um, what that looks like. In the Core Techniques patch, many of these sounds are in the first patch that you load up. There's a couple of nice extras in here though as well, some swells. And stopped. And similarly, a couple of extra short notes which are stopped as well. Meanwhile, in the decorative techniques, there's slightly more unusual sounds like the flutter sound muted, sforzando muted, rips, stopped, and falls. stopped as well. We also have this great sound which I love and this is called bells up. Um, this is where you turn the instrument so that the bell faces forward to the audience instead of back and it gives you a really open brassy sound. And a short note using this technique as well. If we take the tenor trombones as an example, uh, again, we have our long and muted long sounds, flutter. Um, here we have the cuivre, which is, as I mentioned before, very brassy type of sound. Our swells again, and you can change the length using this variation slider. And a muted short note. So that's a quick look at Spitfire Studio Brass. Really punchy, dynamic sound, the essential instruments that you'll use most of the time for your core brass writing. If you wanna have a look at the professional version of Studio Brass, then hop over to the other video linked below where you'll see some of the extra features that are included in that package. Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.